According to organized crime, Murphy has gone to ground and there are no leads. Oh, that's great. If he's on the run, he probably won't be worrying about Kevin. And if you coat yourself in chum and swim with sharks, you probably won't be eaten, said the half-eaten chum-covered swimmer. While Murphy is at large, he's still a threat. So I'm going to be stuck here forever following these over-the-top security precautions? No. Thank God. The security procedures are about to become much more over-the-top. <sighs> Say goodbye to your one hour of open window time. But, sir, the stench. It needs some way to escape. I already feel as though I'm trapped inside of... What are those things you're always eating? Pizza bagels? No. Pizza rolls? No. Pizza poppers? No. Pizza Ritos? No. Pizza pockets? That's it. How much longer will we be forced to live inside this pizza pocket? Look, I could tell you that it'll just be a few more weeks, but you don't want me to lie to you. Raymond, I beg of you. Give me two hours at the library to work on my book. Just two hours. It will make all the difference. Yeah, I could go with him. Keep him safe. No library. Seamus' men could be lurking in the stacks. I find that unlikely. I understand, but I disagree. Well, then, we are in disagreement. You'll have to excuse me. I'm sorry, you had the wit to such a vicious fight. Oh, was that a fight? Are you kidding? He said, you'll have to excuse me instead of, please excuse me. Might as well have spit in my face.